Alright guys, uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video, I've just been really busy with school. As I promised, I will change where I make videos, everything will change. Right now, we're kind of like, moving some stuff around upstairs, so I'm just making it down here real quick. Uh, this is a Fatal 4-Way Prediction video. Let's get right on into it. Alright. So first, you have, uh, the Divas Championship, Fatal 4-Way, which will be between the Divas... Eve Torres, Gail Kim, Maurice, and Alicia Fox. Uh, I think Maurice will win this. Um, I don't think the ending will even involve, involve Gail Kim or Alicia Fox. I think it'll just be uh, Maurice pinning Eve Torres. Alright, so then you have the United States Championship, The Miz versus R Truth. It's happening because Archie beat the Miz about a month ago on Raw, and then just a fatal four away last Monday on Raw. Um, it was between the Miz, Zack Ryder, R Truth, and John Morrison. I wish they would have made John Morrison or Zack Ryder win, because I kind of like Zack Ryder and John Morrison, and John Morrison's really talented, and so is Zack Ryder, and I think they should give both of them a push. Um, so next you got, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I think The Miz will win that, and hopefully maybe Zack Ryder or John Morrison can get involved with the title again. Um, moving on, uh, the World Heavyweight Championship of Fatal 4-Way, which will be between The Big Show, Jack Swagger, CM Punk, and Rey Mysterio. Um, hmm. As they say 50 times a night on Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, is that there's only a 25% chance that the champion will remain the champion. 75% that it'll change hands. I think this will be a pretty good Fatal 4-Way. Um, first ever Fatal 4-Way pay-per-view, and I think they're doing pretty good building up these Fatal 4-Ways. Uh, so... Hmm. I think it's gonna be kinda like Ray takes CM Punk out of the match, and then, I don't know, maybe the Big Show takes out Ray, and then it's kind of, Big Show knocks out Swagger and pins him. That's how I think it's going to happen. I think the Big Show will be the new champion come Fatal 4-Way. Also, my cousin keeps telling me that Drew McIntyre and Kofi are supposed to fight, so I'm just going to say, uh, Drew McIntyre and Kofi Kingston for the Intercontinental title. I'm not positive, but, you know. My couple of my cousins love the spoiler websites. I don't like them because it just takes, like, WWE isn't completely unpredictable, but it kind of takes the unpredictability, or, yeah, it kind of takes the unpredictability out of it. Um, so, but if that does happen, Kofi and Drew McIntyre. I'm going to say Kofi wins it, then he goes to start a rivalry with, hmm. Well, he gives a start of highly with someone else for the Intercontinental title. And Drew McIntyre and Matt Hardy continue the rivalry. Which, I think it's pretty good. I mean, not many people like the Matt Hardy and Drew McIntyre. Uh, not many people in my family like it too much. But I think it's a good rivalry. I really like it. Um, not a huge fan of Matt Hardy anymore. I used to love him a lot. Or I used to like him a real lot. But then, I don't know, it's just... Getting kind of old for the WWE. Um. So, also, um. Yeah, Drew McIntyre and Matt Hardy. I think they're going to start having a rivalry after Kofi Kingston pins Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental title, Fatal 4 Way. Um. Also, if you guys know, do you think. Um. I'm not too sure, but. Is Kofi Kingston now. Like, instead of. Instead of the, uh. Trouble in Paradise, is he changing that to the SOS for good now? Mm, I don't really know. But, um, so yeah, Kofi Kingston over Drew McIntyre. And then, uh, yeah. Alright, so now the Fatal 4-Way for the WWE Championship. This will be a great match. Um, Father's Day this Sunday, I think my dad's going to some party. And my mom's having a bridal shower for my, my cousin's wedding. Which is a few weeks, but whatever. Uh, so I think I'm going to be going down to my cousin's house, and I'll be watching Fatal 4-Way, and this is going to be a great match. You have the former WWE Champion, Sheamus, 
versus the nine-time champion Edge versus the six-time world champion Randy Orton versus another nine-time and the current WWE champion John Cena. So everyone has had the world title at least once. Nine times, and six times, but uh, this should be a great match, and I think it's going to be kind of like, um, I kind of... I kind of want Sheamus or Orton to win it. Not that I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big John Cena fan. I kind of like him, but also some stuff that he does kind of takes some good things out of WWE that I think, because he has a lot of little kids watching, which makes it now PG instead of like what was it TV 14 or something like that. That's what I like better. Um, but now uh, I'm thinking Rand. I'm thinking John Cena's gonna win this. Uh, I think it's gonna be maybe Sheamus or Orton and Edge take each other out. And then maybe Sheamus goes for a big boot, John Cena moves or whatever, and does the FU or the attitude adjustment and pins him and wins the title. I don't know, but I think that's what might happen. Uh, so those are fatal four way predictions. Again, I guess I'll run over them again. Just real quick for you. Uh,. So I think that uh, Maurice is going to win the Diva title. R Truth or The Miz is going to defeat R Truth. Big Show is going to win the Heavyweight title. John Cena is going to win the WWE. And if this match does happen for the Intercontinental title, Kofi will defeat Drew McIntyre. Alright, guys. Also, if you have any suggestions to a video, please let me know. Because, you know, another reason I haven't really been making videos is because of like I haven't had many ideas so I just really I'm stuck with prediction videos but I'm gonna try to make a few today maybe one or two hopefully because I'm not really busy today I'm just relaxing so alright that's it I'm gonna follow my predictions peace